1926 S. Lincoln sent in MS-64 red condition. A key issue to completion of a high-grade Lincoln sent collection, the 1926 S is seldom offered with full red surfaces. This is just such a near gem, however both sides with original autumn orange color. Bold to sharp in strike, with a satiny texture that even reveals glints of modest semi-reflectivity in the fields at isolated angles. There are no sizable or otherwise individually distracting blemishes to report. It ended up selling for $10,351.15. 1949 D. Franklin half dollar. Graded as MS-67 with full bell lines. The 1949 D. Franklin half dollar is plentiful with full bell lines, although most such coins grade no finer than MS-65. The issue is elusive in MS-66 full bell lines, and the finest pieces known in this strike category are a single MS-67 full bell lines coin at NGC and one other at PCGS as of November. Frosty luster glistens beneath russet gold toning that is deeper on the obverse and lighter on the reverse. The strike is sharp, and each side displays pristine surfaces. It was sold for $7,800. This is proof 1940 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR65 cameo by PCGS. Important as a strike rarity, precious few proof 1940 Jefferson Nichols display the degree of field-to-device contrast that characterize the finish on both sides of this gem. Delicate golden iridescence in the fields, the devices exhibit hazy silver apricot highlights. This gem ended up selling for $1,035. 2009 P. American Samoa Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 2009 American Samoa quarters were officially released by the U.S. Mint on July 27, 2009. The official ceremony for the American Samoa quarters release took place on September 4, 2009. The coins came in very nice quality and examples up to about MS-66 condition can be easily obtained. In MS-67 condition they appear to be scarcer but yet easily affordable at a small premium. In MS-68 condition they are very scarce with few examples known. This quarter ended up selling for $3,375 with buyer's fee. 1951 D. Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Splendid olive gold and reddish-orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine-looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. It was sold for $4,600. And this is 1972 Lincoln scent with double dye obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide lists nine different varieties of double die obverse 1972 cents, but FS101 is the guide book variety most in demand by collectors. The obverse legends exhibit a spread that approaches the famous 1955 FS101. The present crisply struck superb gem offers booming luster and unabraded orange red surfaces. It ended up selling for $14,400. 2002 D. Ohio State Quarter graded as MS69 by NGC. According to the NGC price guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2002 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2002 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $4,000. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,768.75 with buyer's fee. 1970 S Lincoln sent with double die obverse graded in Mint State 65 red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, at one point this variety was thought to be just as rare as the 1969 S double die, although today's certified population figures suggest it is marginally more plentiful, albeit still scarce in any grade. Strong doubling is most prominent throughout in God we trust and liberty, but is also visible on the date. We have seen only a few full red examples of this variety in recent years. This gem red example displays sharp definition and satiny copper red mint luster. The coin is devoid of carbon spotting, and only a few microscopic surface marks are evident. The CAC endorsement is well earned. It was sold for $9,600. 1913 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus wet condition. The 1913 Lincoln Cent claims a substantial mintage of more than 76.5 million pieces, making the issue relatively available in lower mint state grades. However, the population tops out at the MS67 grade level with a red designation and neither of the leading grading services has certified any examples in higher numeric grades. This plus graded super gem was once highlight of the fabulous Tucker collection. A few tiny microflex appear only with the aid of loop. It was sold for $60,000.
Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for getting frequent updates on coin prices from different coin auctions of the world. Have a nice day.